Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to go through and connect to your lake house tables inside of a fabric workspace inside of the report builder tool to be able to go through and create paginated reports. Let's get to it. All right, hello again, my name is Austin Leibel and I am a trainer at Pragmatic Works and I specialize in working inside of Microsoft Fabric and all of the new features that is provided inside of the Power BI service. I've also gone through and specialized in creating and authoring paginated reports and working with the Power BI Report Builder tool, which comes from the traditional SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS background. So if you ever tried to go through and create some sort of printable Power BI report, you know that there's some limitations to that. And that's where the Power BI Report Builder tool comes in and allows you to make those connections to your data to be able to format your tool with a pixel perfect capability meaning you can go and point to the exact place that you want your report items to line up and then you can go through and create printable reports to be able to deliver to a higher level executive within your organization or just to be able to access inside of the Power BI service in a PDF format. Now I am inside of my fabric lake house right now that I used for my learn with the nerds that was back in June of 2023 uh, but I still use it for a lot of demonstrations so I have this available to me if you want to know more about how we got data data into this lake house or what a lake house even is, definitely go and check out how you can create that a follow along with me for that end to end analytical solution inside of fabric. Now I have some tables here and what I want to show you is how I can go through and connect to them by two different ways. Now inside of the Power BI Report Builder tool, which I'll show you, it looks a little old school, has some old features to it, but inside of this tool, you have two methods to be able to connect to your data and two languages that you can really go through and write. There's technically three, but for the most part, people use two. They either use SQL, Structured Query Language, or they use DAX, the Data Analysis Expression Language. Depending on how you're going through and connecting to your data, you have different options for how you can do that. Let's look at the first option here. So you can see that I am logged into my Power BI service workspace here. I'm Austin Liable, and that's where I'm logged into over in my other account as well. Using that, I can go through and create a data source, which allows me to make a connection connection to my data. So I can go right click in my report data pane and add a new data source, or I can go through and add a connection to a Power BI data set. So if I go and click on the Power BI data set option here, it will bring up a list of all of my available workspaces that I have been granted access to. So the Learn with the Nerds workspace. And then I have a bunch of different lake house and data set and semantic model places here I can go through and connect. So I'm going to go through and connect to my adventure workspace data set or semantic model. By selecting that, it's going to allow me to go through, have that connection, and then I can author a data set or what data I actually want to bring in to my paginated report. So I'll go through, I'll right click, I'll add a new data set that's going to leverage my Learn with the Nerds AdventureWorks Lake House. And then if I go through to the query designer, it's going to give me a graphical user interface method to be able to bring in the data from that lake house model. So I can go through, I can write DAX against that lake house. I can leverage measures or KPI indicators that have brought, been brought in. I can go through and use different um, uh, columns and uh, values, specific values, and filter down with this as well. But this is going to be specifically writing DAX. Now, I'll tell you, DAX is not my first love language. I like to write SQL and would prefer to write SQL if I have the ability to. So maybe you've had that thought as well. You know, I have all my data in Power BI. I'm supposed to go connect to this uh, with, with the Power BI data set, but uh, it's not really comfortable to me. Any kind of manipulation or complex stuff you have to do with DAX, there's a lot of content there that you have to really understand how to go through and use DAX as a query language. And we have courses built specifically for that on our on-demand learning platform. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But maybe you're saying, hey, you know what? I'd rather write SQL to return my results. That's more 
uncomfortable to me. Well, let's go through and let's show you how you can connect. I'm gonna cancel out of this query designer here if I say yes, and then I'm gonna go back and delete that data source. So I remove the data source. I wanna go through and author a new data source. So to begin with, what I need to get from my Fabric Lake House is a SQL endpoint. So I'm connected inside of the AdventureWorks Lake House here. If I go inside of my settings and I pull over on my other side of my screen, the SQL Analytics endpoint, this is going to be where I can go and make a logical connection in various tools like SQL Server Management Studio or Paginated Reports, or anytime I need to go through and make a connection to my lake house tables and I want to use that as a SQL connection. I can go through and copy out this SQL connection string, and then I'll go back over inside of the Power BI Report Builder, and I'll create a new data source again. Now, we're not going to choose the Power BI Dataset Connection this time. I'm just going to add a more traditional data source. So when I select this, I have a couple of different things I can do. Number one, I can give this a name, so we'll call it we'll call it AdventureWorks Lite Database kind of uh, connection here, just to know what it is. And then we have some connection types. Now, what you're not going going to see here yet is a fabric lake house or anything like that. Now you might be thinking, well, maybe you could use like SQL Server, maybe you could use this, maybe you could use that. What you want to use if you're going to follow along, if you're going to try this for yourself, is a Microsoft Azure SQL database. Now you're saying this isn't an Azure SQL database. That's a platform as a service database that's hosted by Microsoft. They kind of take care of backups and uh, going through and making sure everything's online for us. But this isn't that, right? It's going to allow us to use the same method for a connection that that would use. So we're going to be able to build this connection string using this type of connection. So if we go over here to the build connection string, I'm just going to paste that server connection inside of that. And I'm just going to use my Azure Active Directory authentication, or as it's recently been retitled to, the Microsoft Entra ID authentication. I'm going to choose my adventure work. So it is going to ask me to uh, multi-factor authentication or single sign on here. Uh, there we go. I'm going to use my AdventureWorks database there. And then I'm going to go through, or my lake house, not a database, it's a lake house, right? I'm going to test the connection. We got test connection succeeds. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. Okay, and one more, okay. We now have a data source, and now if I wanna go through and add a new data set that's going to leverage that data source, and I open my query designer for this, no longer gonna be writing DAX, this is going to be SQL. So I can go through, I can pull over those different tables. Let's say I just wanted to pull over all of dim date, I'll say that's perfect. I can run a query here to just get the results back for myself. This works. This allows me to go through and use SQL, select star, select all these different columns from this table. Obviously wouldn't want to do this exact one, more showing you the connection there, but that's awesome. I think that introduces a lot of new capabilities. It's going to allow for more people to now go through and be able to author these paginated reports. Now I'll tell you, there's a lot to going through and working with pagination. So if you don't know much about it, definitely look for some of our paginated boot camps that Pragmatic Works offers, a three-day intensive course that we dive into content around creating and authoring and understanding the differences between the interactive Power BI desktop reports and the paginated reports that the report builder allows us to go through and use. Or if you need help with reports, I can also assist you in virtual mentoring sessions. We have several different people on our team who are paginated experts that will be able to go through and have people you figure out your exact scenario, be able to transform something that was an Excel file to a now paginated file using Power BI. We can do a lot of helpful things for you. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you now see that using a lake house inside a fabric is going to enable more people to connect and be able to author different types of reports. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.